Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 14 of FTV Interactions, uh, where between episodes I've done a bunch of crafting. Uh, I basically uh, did those um, make a bunch of components quests. I also uh, did a bunch of copper, and I guess I got some annealed copper wire. Where did I get you from? I guess that was a quest reward? I forget. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, good times. So uh, I made the 16 integrated circuits that we needed. We had most of the components. I had to do a lot of crafting of paper, which uh, I've got some leftovers from. I popped it all up in there. Uh, and then I knocked out uh, the electric motors and the conveyor and pump and piston and arm and all that stuff, which was not too shabby. Um, so we actually did okay by way of that stuff, which is all cool. And now I get to put all those extra components directly into my uh, components chest, which is basically what that chest has become, right? Uh, which is cool. So that means I knocked out that bulk crafting. So like I said to you guys, I'm gonna do my best not to do bulk crafting on camera. I'm going to do as much automation and combining of machines and building and factory layout and design and all that stuff on camera throughout the series. But when it comes to standing at a crafting table and crafting components, off camera work. I hope that sounds cool. Um, because generally, I think in the past, that's where I might have gotten a little bogged down um, in, in my last series or two where I did Greg Tech. There was a lot of on-camera on crafting, and that was bleh, not as great, right? Uh, today, I think I wouldn't mind taking a look at these blue steel cables and maybe making a few more machines because a um, couple things, right? One, as we get going, and, and I think like ideally what we do is shift this design around. Right now, everything's great with like steam processing, but as we migrate more away from the steam machines and more towards the LV tier machines, we're going to need some more steam boilers. Um, I don't know exactly how to determine short of the quest telling me this, but remember when we got to the high pressure steam boiler, it said it takes five of these boilers to fully power an LV steam turbine. So I think that means we're gonna want five of these to power one of these. And that seems like a lot. And I don't know if that's true or not. So we're gonna find out. Um, and then in addition here, if we look at our LV tier um, of, of, of questing progressions, right? Um, there's this guy, electric best friend. And then there was something about steam and coal power. Struggling for energy for all your processing and automation needs. So here's how to fully automate steam. That sounds fun. You've earned this. As you progress into the LV age, you can create a better water source. Aqueous accumulator creates water for free, while the net mechanism pump will produce it far faster but takes energy. The choice is yours. Sweet. Steel drum. Uh, and then it looks like there's a whole section on how to get fully automated steam production, which probably sounds like a good path, right? Because uh, it, my understanding, and again, not super cool, but like getting there is we want steam power to be generating all the power that we do for the future stuff. And it looks like we're gonna early access to um, getting the tree beacon from Astral, which will make access to a lot of wood really easy. And we even get an advanced item collector from random things as a reward, which is cool. That's super cool. Uh, and don't forget, we do have a handful uh, of pulsating iron ingots. Now remember, um, that's cool. Is there like an uh, alloying way to do this? I don't think so. I'm thinking this is all just straight up. Yeah, didn't think so. Um, the alloy smelter can do this, but it requires 48 EU per tick. So I'm thinking we can't make more of this until we get into the MV tier, but this should be enough for like a stack and a half, give or take of item conduits. So I think that's our plan, right? Like let's, let's plan for um, item conduiting and routing and, and smartness like that. Does that sound cool? So I did that, I did a little bit of mining between episodes. I obviously moved this. So I just I just did exactly what you can see here. I put the basic steam turbine next to our high pressure steam boiler uh, and put the wire mill next to it. And I will tell you that these three steam boilers, the two basics and the one high pressure are not enough to keep the steam turbine going. Um, if you threw like half a stack of um, copper in here, it will, quickly burn through all the steam it has, and eventually it'll start struggling. And you'll wanna use a soft hammer, remember, to turn on and off the machine. So see how it says working disabled on the tooltip up there? 
and then whack it again. This will give the steam boiler enough time to backlog a little bit more steam and more energy in its buffer and let this thing keep working. Because, um, and I think this is true for all Greg Tech machines, if they start running low on power, it's not like thermal machines where they just slow down and take longer to finish. They keep resetting their progress. So like it gets to 3% and drops back down to zero and 3% and zero, and it just keeps wasting steam and not getting anywhere. So you literally need to stop the machine for a bit and then turn it back on to get it going. So I think my plan for today is let's start working towards this, because this looks important. Having enough power to, to power all our machines is gonna be a big part of getting through the LV tier. So let's focus on um, progressing to the point where we have like seriously well automated steam, which I guess this whole section will, will guide me through. And then we might need to, as we're going through that, circle back and get to some of the other LV tier machines that we haven't made. My understanding is, and I think this is true, most of what I've uh, not made yet is pretty much available as Steam versions. And we'll just have to find out if, you know, there's anything else. All right, so step one's all about power. How to fully automate Steam. Check. Uh, so I think our first task should be either an aqueous accumulator or an electric pump. Let's take a look at both of these and see what's involved from over here where I'm not hearing all the time. Electric pump is an LV machine hole, some LV pumps, uh, some enriched alloys, some medium steel pipes, not terrible. Um, and I know we made we made motors. We didn't make a lot of pumps, but pumps use motors and not too much else. So I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. We're gonna have to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be too bad to make some motors uh, or make some pumps, right? And enriched alloy uh, should be pretty simple and straightforward as well. Uh, it looks like it needs the assembler for the enriched alloys. Okay, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, aqueous accumulator, on the other hand, does not need the assembler just yet. And it's just iron gears and redstone servos, and that seems pretty straightforward. Uh, a couple electric pumps, so a little bit cheaper, it seems like. But structural glass from Mechanism, which is an alloy smelter between reinforced glass and steel plate. Reinforced glass being glass dust and advanced alloy plates. Advanced alloy plates being mixed metal ingots, which is pretty not terrible. I think we could probably pull that off. So, long story short, I think I'm leaning towards aqueous accumulator, right? Um, I think that's the route we're gonna go. So as promised, I'm going to do this crafting off camera and we will be back. And I should have some of this, if not a lot of this. I used a lot of my red alloy, but I made a lot of ingots of it. So I'm gonna make eight of those to get cooking. And like I said, yeah, we'll be back in just una momento to get that aqueous accumulator going. And then I wanted the LV machine hole. So getting there, getting there. Alloy smelter with this and this should make me gears. Good times, good times. And uh, you know, just crafting a storm up. So I've got uh, I've got these guys. This is just the casing, by the way. So that should be good now. So we've got that going. Uh, this should be the iron ring. I had a few of those. There we go, and that should be cool. So that should be you guys now. Beautiful. That was not a bad craft, frankly. So now I just need my structural glass, which is two steel plates. Well, actually one steel plate and one advanced alloy with three glass dust. All right, guys, so we've got an aqueous accumulator. Hooray! You've earned this. I sure have earned this steel drum. Hey, look, I got a steel drum, yay! And that gave me a reservoir, yay! Um, so that's awesome. And that's awesome, and that's awesome. So let's put this away. Having a reservoir does sound cool, but I'm gonna put it in my miscellaneous, well, yeah, miscellaneous just for now. And then we've got some structural glass left over, and we've got a few other things left over. So I think my next task then will be to craft, um, he really wants me to make these three things. Logs and not in short supply. Sounds like a good time to me. So how about we get working towards a tree beacon in Astral Sorcery, and then we can have enough wood to make, and I like that plan. So I think that means we're starting Astral today, doesn't it? I do, I do think that's what it means. So let's look into what we have to do for Astral. All right, so what I've done is built a bridge across from there. So the quest book says, aquamarines are key ingredient in several magical processes. You may not have the technology to refine them from Sapphire yet, but you possibly find some in ancient temples scattered across the world. Remember I said that there was an ancient temple over here and you can almost see it from the portal if you're looking. When I was exploring earlier, what is this thing? That is terrible, ah, no, 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 no. Dread beast, ice and fire. Nope, 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 nope. That is a nope right there. That is a nope right, oh yeah, that's a death right there. Okay, 
Okay, let's see if... How'd I make out? Is that thing still there, or what's the deal? I don't know. Boink! Get my stuff, get my head. Did it despawn? I think it despawned. All right, well, that's good. So let's see what's inside this temple. Uh, inside this temple, traditionally, is some good stuff. Oh, hello. Not quite that, please. What do we got in here? Because that looks like... Is that just... Uh, that's a different kind of water. Is that... What is this? Mana from Wizardry. Okay, cool. So mana's in this temple. That's neat. And that's why I have flying. Cool. We've got our standard floating crystal from Astral. And we've got some chests. Ah, good. Here's what I wanted to see. I'm going to put away my marble cobblestone. Great that that's a thing. I don't think I need my head at the moment. We will get that. Not quite diamonds. And anything else that's cool here? Uh, hey, diamonds. I'll take diamonds. That I will take. Not quite diamonds and diamonds. And I'll probably come back for the iron and gold. But hey, quest complete diamonds. Yay. Or at least achievement diamonds. Yay. All right, let me run home. I'm going to get a crafting table. I don't know if crafting table equals turn into thingy. So there's a recipe for this that is in the basic work table. I assume this is what I need to do. But I'm going to still try putting the regular crafting table over there. If I was a smart person... Oh, I am relatively smart, I guess. Um, I just have way too much junk in my inventory. Let's... Let's let's do this. Let's put let's put this here for a minute, and we're gonna put just a few things we don't super duper need, uh, right in here. Just so we have a little bit of inventory space. That looks better. And I'm just gonna try because I can make a regular old crafting table. Yes. We're gonna try putting this right here. Are you gonna do the thing where you turn that into a table? I'm gonna say I don't know the answer to that, but I hope. And meanwhile, I can snag my head back, and. I I mean, we'll see. Hang on. Are you going to do the thing? Generally, this works better at night. It's not nighttime. But the beam showing up is a good sign. It tells me that might just be hard-coded into Astral, though. So, like, we need to wait and see. I'm going to give this a minute. And if it's not good in a minute, I'm just going to slash home and make one. You know what I am going to do? Oh, good. Marble's on the list of vein miney stuff. So that's cool. I don't need this shield at the moment. And uh, pretty cool. What else might I not need at the moment? You and sticks. I'm going to give it a sticks because they're EMCable. All right, good enough for me. Uh, let's come back in a minute. If, like I said, if this doesn't poof, then I will make this at home because I should be able to make this. These and sooty marble seems to be an alloy smelter between marble and coal. So easy peasy, we can pull that off. Be right back. All right, guys, easy peasy. Just made a quick luminous crafting table. Now my vision expands. So remembering, remembering, remembering. Do I have to chisel a book? Is that what I do to get the astral book? I believe that's right. Yeah. See, I remember things. Good job, me. I remember things. I don't see an astral book in here. Uh, astral. Astral book, wherefore art thou? We totally need one of those, right? And if it's not... if Unless I'm missing it, which I could be. It looks like this. That is made in a luminous crafting table. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Uh, three aquamarines and a parchment. Really, though? Like, really, though? I have to do it that way? Like, you made it so that I could chisel all the books. Why can't I chisel that one? I really want to chisel that one. Boo. Boo. I say unto thee. All right, so if that's not going to work, then we need the three aquamarines I just got and the parchment, which hopefully is easy. Uh, so let's do this instead of these two. And you're going to be parchment is an aquamarine around that. So we need more aquamarines. So let's look into the autoclave, because that says it runs on LV. So the autoclave is going to be an LV machine hole, two parts and a pump. Do I still have a pump or did I use the pumps? I think I used the pump. So let's get another one of you. Uh, and I'll craft this and we'll be right back. Okay, I think I've got this ready to go. Tin cable. And then electric pump. And then basic autoclave. Hooray! So now we can do the sapphire thing. Now my follow-up question is, have I found sapphires yet? I don't know. That's a super good question, isn't it? Sapphires, sapphire, sapphire, sodalite, lapis, certus, tanzanite, cobaltite. Sapphire, 
ores. There's some green sapphire ores. You think they're normally found with not green sapphire ores? Let's look at our map. Or copper, or redstone, or tin, or tin redstone, tin, coal, olivine, magnetite, lapis, copper, iron, more iron, nickel, tanzanite, and lapis, and aqua. Where would I find in the overworld some sapphire ores? I may not have found any yet. Soapstone, Stibnite, Tin, Lapis, and Aqua Veins. Don't have Ordo and Sapphire Veins. So we definitely found Tanzanite and Green Sapphire, but I don't think spawns in cold biomes only. Hey, I know where a cold biome is. But we found that, but we probably got that from this stuff. Right? So let's go to a cold biome and look for... And look for... Dyer's Alconet. Dyer's Alconet. That's me! And we'll find, hopefully, some sapphire. And I just want to make sure, before I go doing all this work, that if I find sapphire ore, right, I can squeeze it into sapphire dust, and then what, autoclave it, maybe? Yes, into sapphires with water. And then we autoclave that into sapphires with water, and we get aquamarines. Boom. Cool. So we have a path to get that. Let's go, eh, it's pretty close today. I'll look real quick over here. I didn't super explore the cold biome too much and note where the ores were. I just kind of did a quick look. So I should definitely look for that Dyer's stuff. We'll be back. Look at this, here's my temple, here's Dyer's Alconet. Please be right. Well, I visited the deep depths and learned a lot, but I didn't find my stuff. So I should probably bring my scanner with me, right? All right, mission accomplished, scanned. And hopefully sapphires. Hey, look! Task complete tanzanite and sapphire ore and ordo sapphire veins and egg. All right, so I'm gonna mine up a bunch of sapphire and probably a few ordo because uh, there should be ordo crystals down here. So that's extra cool. So that's thalmcraft and astral problems solved in one vein. Nice. All right, a little bit of mining back in five. Okay, ores going into the ores chest. Cobble and dirt going into the EMC factory. And then we want some sapphire ore, which I presume I can also macerate, right? Pulverizer into crushed sapphire. Crushed sapphire turns into impure sapphire. And that can be centrifuged, which technically I could make. But I think the smarter approach right now uh, would probably be just to do this. And that'll get me pure sapphire, right? Yeah, sapphire dust. Sweet. So I think that's the better approach, right? And then we've got ourselves a basic autoclave, which we're gonna want some tin cable for. So I need to get like the better version of that cable, like the bluey stuff. And it will forever be known as the bluey stuff now because that's a thing that I just made up. Um, but the LV cable, this stuff, blue steel cable, the bluey stuff has no energy loss, which would be super cool. If that were a thing. Wrong. Blocks, direwolf. Now you, sir, need some amount of water. So let's get our reservoir and see if we can use our lovely new reservoir to assist with such things. Right? Can we just do like this somehow? Nope, that's not right. Oh, hello. Yep, there you go. That works. I'll take it. That would have been way more annoying to do buckets at a time. And you should be about done by now with your 26 sapphire dust. Tiny progressions. All right, cool. So you cook. And this, I'll get to show you guys what LV processing looks like in our current stage because I don't have quite enough steel product or of this production going on. So you guys are doing okay. Not great, not terrible. But see how this thing, well, I guess this thing's not doing too much, so he's all right. Let's keep, let's keep two things happening here. One, I want to make sure this guy, because he burns through fuel way faster, so we should totally be doing that. And I don't even know if wood is the right resource to be using on these guys right now. I'm assuming it is, and it's working fine, so I ain't changing. Uh, but can I do this? Oh, yay. Oh, super yay. That is way cooler. Now, if I want you to upgrade, I don't see an upgrade path for you. 
So I guess to make the, the bigger version of that would be a little bit more effort. And then you can go into that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now clearly you take a really long time to process, sir. So I'm gonna remove this sapphire dust. Wow, that is a long time. So you do what now in an autoclave? You make sapphires at 24, you tick. 100 seconds, woo! Luminous crafting, sapphires do some things, um, but you in an autoclave will take 100 seconds to turn into aquamarines. So that's gonna take a hot minute. I think that's the phrase we're looking for here, right? Uh, that said, there's, there's something else we can do right now, which will help. Is everybody ready? Because we ran into diamonds earlier, I think we can do a thing that Dyer is going to be very excited to be able to do. And if you know Dyer at all, you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Time in a bottle. Requires electrum ingots, craftable. Clocks, craftable. Lapis plates, needs a cutting saw, needs a cutting saw. We can make an LV based cutting saw, right? Yeah probably you need diamond saw blades which need a little bit of diamond dust and brass gears which we can make in an alloy i think we can pull this off right you need for those which are just small diamond dust made from diamond dust squeezer of diamond ore yeah i think this is doable let's look into we have a conveyor module right i want to see if i got all the stuffs for this we've got a conveyor module uh, for the cutting saw, we want a couple of these dudes, and we're going to want an LV machine hull, and we're going to want a couple tin cables. Uh, yeah, we should probably just get like 16 of these-ish, because I think we can pull this off, y'all. Call me a little bit crazy, but not for this reason. Um and glass and the conveyor module. I think at this point we just need the saw and an electric motor, which we should have a bunch of. Good. So now we just need the brass. The brass. Do we have any more brass or are we out of brass? We might be out of brass. Looks like we're out of brass. So we need a brass gear. Is that the only gear we can use for this? Does it have to be a brass gear? If we had an assembler, we could use a cobalt brass gear, but for this, we need it to be a brass gear. And that's gonna have to be brass ingots. So let's get let's get that going. I'm gonna put you guys all over here for a minute, because that's how we do, right? When it's time to do, that's how we do. Scanner and bucket and aqueous and stone mallet, which doesn't even belong in my inventory. And all these things. And we're gonna have to figure out the luminous crafting table in a bit. Uh, that's that's an that's a be outside kind of guy, right? For sure. And you're gonna go along with my other magical things. And that should be cool. So brass needed a bunch of shovels, right? So we're gonna get sticks and shovels were the cheapest, right? And that is four, and we need twenty for five, right? So that would be five of these. So we're gonna want 10 of these, right? That should be 10 of these. And then we're gonna want 10 of these to eight iron, right? Was it iron or copper for alchemical brass ingots? Copper, so eight copper. And that should be cool. So that means you guys come back out. You can chill in that corner. Okay. And then we're going to do... Dude, I don't think I left my... Where did I put my gear? I had a gear thingy. Where did I put you? 
There you are, your mold. That should be in this chest in here, and I totally left it in the wrong place. You can be here now, and then we want a diamond, right? Because remember, we found diamond ore before. Um, and until now, we haven't been able to make diamonds themselves, right? Because in order to make a diamond, um, we need the, the, the thing we just made, right? So normally we would take into the autoclave water and diamond dust equals a diamond. So now we can make diamonds, but we kind of already made diamonds. See, look, you already ran out of power. So I got a bronze mallet, you or whatever it is. Wood mallet, wood mallet. He ran out of power like a like a boss. Where is that mallet? There should be a mallet. Mallet. Where are you, mallet? There you are. So like, what we got to do is is hit that dude and wait for some of the internal buffer here to fill back up, and get the steam turbine um, full of steam, and then that should be good to get this guy going. So we tried to do too much operation at once, which you know is not unlike me. Sounds like the kind of thing I would do. Now you are done. You can turn into four of these dusts. You can turn into this, and then we can get all these parts back here. Do 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 do. Anything else I need? I feel like I need more. Nope. Basic cutting machine. Beautiful. Loving it. Boop. 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 And you've got power now. And then we want lapis, right? So uh, we want to get our lapis ore, of which we have some, right? What can I do with you? Pulverize you into crushed lapis ore. And then impure pile of lapis dust. And then you can be centrifuged or I buy. Okay. And lapis dust. Do you have to be like autoclaved into something? Like how do I get, how do I get actual lapis out of you? Autoclave can do it. Now, just to be clear, you could also squeeze her into three lapis dust. That sounds like a solution, right? So we'll squeeze her into three lapis dust, and then we'll have to autoclave you into lapis to get a block of lapis so that we could make the lapis plates. See? Block of lapis, nine lapis, autoclave lapis, 80 seconds each. So that one's going to be a good bit of effort. Um, but it's probably going to be worth it, because guess what? At the end, we're going to have time in a bottle. And I think that'll be pretty amazing. All right? So we could absolutely solve a lot of our problems with time in a bottle here. The only problem is this basic autoclave, we have to make literally nine lapis. Is there another way to make lapis by chance? You're done, by the way, so you can stop making noise. Um, we could smelt crushed lapis. Is that the same? That's actually Edition's Crushed Lapis. I mean, it looks the same, doesn't it? There's no way that would work. Would it? Nope. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Okay, it was worth it. Sifter, Autoclave, Forge Hammer, Flawless Lapis, Lapis Block. Lapis block. Sifter, forge hammer. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Quests and Hellfire Kiln. Hellfire Kiln is not the thing we have outside, by the way. That's a modular machine, right? So that's not gonna happen. And just to make sure, we might have like a lapis or something like that, but I don't think we have a lot of it. Definitely not a good sign. All right, so uh, guess what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to let this thing finish. He's already lowering on power. That's not a good sign at all. But we can pause him with his progress not being lost. So we're going to have to babysit this a little bit. And by we, I mean me off camera. Right? But like when the power starts dropping, we pause it. We let the steam turbine build up its power again. And then unpause it. Uh, and then we need to do the nine lapis dust, which is going to be a little bit of babysitting, but should be okay. Yeah, you guys just do not produce enough steam at the moment. Smart thing to do in the future would be to make more high pressure boilers, but you know Dyer. He don't always do the smart thing. Uh, Bueller? Where's my aquamarine? It finished, right? Did I miss something? I'm 
I'm going to test that again. That might be a bug. Because we totally had a Sapphire in there, and we should have got an Aquamarine out of it. Unless it's saying, chance 50% plus 5% per tier. Today we learned. Today we learned to look at the mouse over tooltip. Wow. 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 Is that a 70% chance? Wow. Plus 10% per tier. Wow. All right. Back in a minute. I suspect that if I'm not lucky, I'm going to need a few more Lapis ores. So I'm just going to get those discs ready. This is going to be a long and painful process of waiting. But it's worth it for the time in the bottle. Welp. That was a good 20 minutes. I'll probably never get back. But now we want a compressor you, right? Is that the right? Compressor will turn nine lapis into a block. Beautiful. Cool. All right. Um, this doesn't count as crafting on camera. Shh. It doesn't. All right. So you guys all go into there. And uh, I'm going to just toss a... Well, I don't want to put the sapphire dust in there yet. Well, can I? Might be able to cook one sapphire dust. We know that it takes more steam backlog than we have to cook up a sapphire dust. So we very much want to get more steam boilers. But I'm hesitant to do that because the whole point of the quest that I'm on is automating steam. So I don't know if I'm going to... It feels like I'm going to get like a multi-block boiler here. So like there, I don't want to waste too much time making these when I'm going to get a multi-block boiler in a minute. So that's where I'm at. Cool. So I'm going to mallet you for a sec so that I can put you in here and put you in here. And then that guy should cook, right? He might be having some power loss issues because of the, how far the, the wire is going. But I think we're going to pull it off. I think we're going to pull it off. I think we're going to pull it off. Watching that tool type leg. Is it going to work? Yes, we just barely made it. Booyah. So now you can go back to work enabled. Um, so now, let me craft the other thing. So we're going to need two electrum ingots and four gold plates. And that's like it, it. And electrum ingots are silver, I presume, right? Like that, I'm assuming, is a thing I can do at this point. Right? Because we got the alloy smeltery. We can do silver ingots. Uh, and silver ingots are just sure, I hope. Have I not found a silver ore vein yet? Oof. So to be clear, what we're looking for is a galena vein under hydrangeas. So we want to find purple flowers. We're going to bring our scanner. We're going to bring enough food. Yeah, we're pretty good on food. And I just slept through the night. I'm gonna go look real quick to see if I can find some hydrangeas, some purple flowers that are kind of flat looking. And if I can find them, we can get a silver vein and then we'll have a time in a bottle. And I'll call that a successful episode if I get a time in a bottle by the end of this thing. So I'm thinking I found one, believe it or not. It looks like this might be it. I saw purple flowers across this little river and I am not far from home. Look how, look, I'm like right here. So. Task completed, silver or galena vein. Silver, silver, silver. Just gonna get a few because we don't need a lot, but now at least I know where silver is. Slash home. Boom. Did not really come super prepped for mining a lot. I mean, I guess I did, but you know, the, you know, the point is, is that I got silver, I'm happy, right? So a couple silver dusts, smash that up. We will alloy smelt this. Not you. You. Beautiful. Guys, I'm getting excited. Who's getting excited? Because I am. Technically, we only needed the two electrum, but I guess I'll let the other two finish. Because I've got no choice. And the two diamonds, which again, we could have autoclaved these diamonds at this point, but we didn't super duper need to. See, yeah, this guy definitely is a stinker. We're going to need to get that, that power situation going. All right, what do we need for glass bottles. Uh, I know we need glass bottles. And that would be you. And then we need some redstone for them. Hey, perfect, four redstone just sitting there ready for me. I got a bunch over in that stamper thingy, but all right, four plates, which needs six gold. I apologize, six gold into the steam compressor, four chamber dude here. And 
Six would be two, wouldn't it? No, it's four. It's four. And then one of these lotus blossoms. Wow, you're taking a while for those gold plates, huh? Come on, buddy. We need a time in a bottle to speed this thing up. So what are we missing? What are we missing? Just this. This is it, guys. This is literally it. Literally it. So you have a ton of redstone. Literally it. Well, I'm ready for a nap. Look at that. That's legit. Dire legit. I was considering cheating it in at the beginning of the series, and I said no. I can get it early enough that I will legit get it, and I won't cheat it in. Dire legit. Dire legit. How cool is a time in a bottle? Didn't even add it to the pack. It's part of the pack, y'all. Part of the pack. And I'm pleased, as punch, to say I got that legitimately. All right. Cool. Nice. I like it. Alrighty then. So, wrap it up point for the episode. Dial 20 sign it off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will come back next time. We will look into making the tree beacon, which it looks to me like I should have no problem making. I'll make a few aquamarines between episodes so I can get the astral book so I can see if I need to unlock tree beacon. But it looks to me like I can, like, usually tree beacon's like two or three chapters in, isn't it? So it looks to me like the recipe has been altered so I can get it right away, which is cool. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episodes. Look at that reward. I bet that's a hint. All right, guys. Take it easy.